Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, I want to talk about a confirmed rumor that uh, I reported on a few months ago, uh, well, a couple months ago, and that has been confirmed today by the park calendar. Um, looks like Six Flags is cutting back on park ca uh, hours, uh, going from 365 day operation back to its kind of weekend only vibes that they were doing. No, before they did 365. So let's go share the screen. Let's talk about this. So here's the park calendar for November. So Six Flags will continue its 365 day every day operation until Halloween when Fire Fest is over. Then you see on November 1st, starting November 1st, all the way through the end of the year, except for Thanksgiving and the Christmas weeks, um, Christmas New Year's weeks, they will be closed. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so Six Flags will be open Friday through Monday, starting November 1st again, all the way through the end of the year, except for, of course, the holiday weeks and Christmas weeks. Until then, they'll be closing at 5 on, on the weekdays, very early, yeah, 5 p.m., um, and then on, well, even though it's Veterans Day weekend, they're closing it off. Oh, Eight, but um, when Firefest is on, they're open till one on the weekends, and then only midnight on Fridays for the rest of this month. But yeah, so this is confirmed rumors that, and of course, only eleven on Sunday. But this is confirmed those rumors I was reporting on how Six Flags, or I thought that Six Flags might stop their three hundred sixty-five day oper operation thanks to the new CEOs. Salim and what he's doing and the 21% uh, drop in attendance levels across the chain and all this stuff and then no new investments and laying off staff and uh, upper level staff and lower level staff. I thought, man, is Six Flags is, is he's killing the parks, man. He's killing the park and the chains. I was curious how long the 365 day operation would last at Six Flags and it looks like not too long, as it only uh, has a month left of that until Fright Fest is over. Then we'll be back to those weekends before Six Flags did the 365 day operation. They were only open for like a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday on uh, during the school year, basically, and then of course holidays. And then they'd be open every day in the summer. Looks like we're going back to that, um, which at least. They'll be open this time on Monday, which I know some people, because some people can't go, right? They they go, they work during the week, so they, or, which means some people prefer to go during the week when it's just less crowded. So I'm curious, what do you guys think of this? Um, and is this a sign of, is this the beginning of the end for Six Flags? I don't think so. Because, um, again, this they, it's not like they have done this. Before. It's not like it's unprecedented. They've done it before. That's what they were doing until they changed it to the 365 day operation. Now, I worked at Six Flags in 2018 and they didn't have 365 day yet. So, or sorry, 2017. So, they only had the 365 day operation for a couple of years. It only lasted. And, um, of course, now it's, it's gone. It's going away. Which is very unfortunate because they were starting to. Again, they're, they're, even before the CEO, their plan was always to attract, obviously, more people, more families, become more of a destination. They wanted to build a hotel was in the plan for um, the park, on one of its, a part of its massive parking lot, probably the dirt area, a lot way over there, a nice whole Six Flags hotel. Uh, that's probably in jeopardy. Again, if the attendance is way down, they don't want to go build a hotel because um, no, one, no one's going to stay in it. Also, again, the solar panel project that was announced like in 2018, that never came. I was hoping they'd maybe do that. Um, but yeah, this cutback in operations, cutback in hours, again, they started with a cutback in hours, closing at 5 p.m. And again, technically, it's still like the summertime. I guess school was out, but the fall is just starting in a couple days, but still. Disneyland's closing at midnight. Sure, Universal's closing at six most of the days, but some of those some of those days they do have port nights, um, so that makes sense. But um, yeah, I don't know that 
scary time for the, the park. Scary time for the park. Um, but again, they, they have to do things to improve themselves. You want to raise the attendance. For example, the Six Flags media event for Fright Fest was supposed to be last Saturday, but it got pushed back. Um, so, uh, yeah, so, yeah, supposed to be Saturday, last Saturday, but it got pushed back to this coming Saturday. Um, due to unforeseen unforeseen circumstances, but I've been seeing on the Facebook groups because I haven't been to Fire Fest um yet, but I've seen on the Facebooks one that the parks are dead most of the time during Fire Fest. Two, Fire Fest is horrifically bad this year, um, according to the post. Again, I haven't been there, so I don't know. But I also the one thing that was shocking to me is they have a new maze that was supposed to open this year, and it's not open yet. How do you open the, uh, how do you open, how do you start the event without your new maze being done? I mean, you have months and months and months to build these things, right? Knott's has two new mazes, and they're going to be opening with the park on Mott's, or uh, uh, Scary Park opens this weekend, um, on Friday. They're going to be opening with the park, with the event. Horn Knights, of course, they started building their mazes in February, Universal did. Um, and they have new mazes all over the place. So, I, again, oh, a couple of repeats, but you, you get it. There's new originals. So, I don't, I just don't understand how you can start your horror event without one of your new mazes being done. According to someone, it's 80% done. Um, I, I feel like the unforeseen, unforeseen circumstance why they push back the media event. Because the new maze won't, probably won't be open until this weekend when, so obviously they don't have the media come and not have all the mazes be open. So, uh, that's my guess. I'm not sure why, though. It could be a totally different reason. But, again, you have to really start improving the park if you want your attendance numbers to go up and you want your reputation to go up. You can't be opening, having events. Not everything's ready yet, um, especially when you have several months to do it. I mean, you have to really what like 10 months of the year because you have horn Nights, or the fried festivals for two months you have the other 10 to start planning and building them um all the other haunted events hollow scream sea world they, they did it they expanded to five mazes or houses more entertainment all of them are ready to go so i don't know you just have to they have to again starting with the small things building new rides and coasters can only get you so far. You you have to really commit on every single level of the theme park experience, which that's why your attendance is low at all Six Flags parks, really. Um, because you gotta you gotta you know you gotta you gotta come to play, right? You gotta make the park beautiful, clean. You gotta if you're gonna have events, you gotta follow through on the events, do them well, not just um, kind of haphazardly slap them together uh, or cancel them. I mean, Six Flags just canceled the goth event. As you may have seen in the news recently, there's supposed to be a goth event um, that got canceled. Oktoberfest is happening, though, on the weekends, so which is nice. But, uh, again, you have to, if you want to do these things, you really have to follow through, go 110%. But what do you guys think about this uh, Six Flags discontinuing their all your operation going back to mostly weekends or just about weekends Friday through Monday. Do you think this is the beginning of the end for the Six Flags chain? What do you think about the CEO? Um, do you think this park, this chain could be saved? Do you think Six Flags might be sold off to another park? Um, Magic Mountain or any Six Flags park? Let me know or the whole change. chain. Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you've gone to Fright Fest or if you're going to Fright Fest. And what you guys think about opening an event without your one of your new mazes open? If you like this video, press that thumbs up button. Also, subscribe for more updates on this situation, on evolving situ Six Flags situations, of course, uh, for other theme parks as well. Universal Disney, I'll be at both and Knott's. I'll be at all three of those places for Halloween. Um... And just do updates on Super Nintendo World and any construction updates. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates and have a fantastic day.